Hello everybody, Adam at Flash Building here, and this one's going to be short and sweet. We're going to be working in Flash CS3 and ActionScript 3, and this will also work in CS4 with your ActionScript 3 projects. And we have a forum member who's looking to load external SWFs into the main FLA container file, or the main SWF container file, like we show in one of our tutorials, and I link to it here and uh, so you can see the URL to that tutorial that shows you the files that I'm about to adjust here to expand them and give the functionality that the uh, Nimchi was asking for and so what we'll do is what, what Nimchi wants is to have the external SWF buttons inside of it control the main timeline of the main file and that's exactly what I'll show you how to do okay so let's uh, minimize this let's open up main file so you can see AS3 command externally loaded SWFs that's the name of the tutorial okay so all we have to do is open my main file from that tutorial lesson and I'm gonna package up this whole new uh, tutorial in its own separate package that way things will stay separated and new since this is different functionality okay so here you can see there's nothing but these words let's just get those off here remove them you can see there's nothing on the timeline it's just the code there's no objects here there's just the code that's calling in the external SWF and then we control the items in the SWF but what our user wants, our forum member wants, is a more of like a click function to where the buttons. So we'll, we'll duplicate that rollout event listener right there. And then we'll give it a click name here. We'll just say click. My clip click. <clears throat> so all we need is a little function. Let's call it my clip click function. We just duplicated that rollover function or the my clip out function and we renamed it my clip click so now we'll just change this to say go to and stop let's say 20 of this main timeline this is what the users after let me show you now let's go to frame 20 new keyframe let's just put the word yay I did it see how easy that is now what's gonna happen is when I click the buttons or in my example they're gonna be little blue balls flying around when I click those but those would be your buttons just pretend that those are your buttons it's the same thing so uh, if they're sitting still if they're moving it doesn't matter we're gonna give them the <clears throat> the items in the external SWF are gonna control our main timeline here it's gonna to shoot to frame 20 when we click them of the main timeline and you saw the code adjustments I just add an event listener for click let's make sure this says click and then uh, go to and stop 20 of the main timeline here you see it's pretty easy there's a couple of ways you can go about this too there's many ways to skin a cat in flash so let's press control enter and see if when I press when I click on the blue balls that are flying around if it shoots the main timeline here to frame 20 we'll see if that happens so we should see the blue balls and the word yay if it doesn't work we won't see the word yay okay so there's the blue balls oh wait sorry let's put a stop action here if you're gonna have a timeline you gotta have a stop action there if you're gonna have more than one frame or else it'll loop okay so now our stop action comes in there's our externally loaded SWF it came in you see that now if I say these are your buttons in your external SWF when you click one you see that I clicked it and it shot to frame 20 of this main timeline you'll see that that's how it works very easy so I'll package this up and maybe I won't have it for download but I'll at least get the video up so you guys can see exactly what I did and modify that file or I might just stick the lesson up 
I'll have the source files in the description of the video if I do. Okay, see you next lesson.